best that sounds, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down. Take my and slip them, slip them. Hey there, YouTubers. I got a funny story for you. It's actually a little anecdote. Um, going back three Christmases ago, two Christmases ago. I don't know. I lost count. So I worked for this company. And uh, we had a company Christmas party. And it was at uh, basically a clubhouse at a golf place. Uh, it, was a, it was basically a golf club in, in Kelowna. British Columbia where we had our Christmas party anyway it was a you know decent party I mean you know actually I was uncomfortable as hell because I don't uh, I don't like large groups of people that don't get it you guys probably know what I mean but uh, several of us got pretty liquored up by the end of the night and uh, my uh, general manager he goes and says, hey, I got something that will blow your fucking mind. And I says, what well, we all said, like, Shh, we've been here like six hours and we still haven't had our minds blown. Go for it. So the owner of the company is this big, fat fuck, and he's huge. Like, I'm talking 400 pounds fat. Guy's huge. He says, all right, there's only six of us left. Well, seven of us, including, our, uh, uh, including the uh, owner. And... We're all, we're basically like the last, we're the last of the bunch. You know, everyone else has gone home and everything else. We're just finishing off all the alcohol. So we, we, have, we were quite ripped. But, you know, GM dude, he says, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I, I saw this at a team building uh, exercise one time, and it's insane. We're like, okay, go, shoot, do it, whatever. So he says, all right, okay. All six of us, uh, let's stand around, you know, the owner here. Everybody, pick a spot. And he says to the to the, to the owner, he says, hey, uh, you know, uh, kind of lean back and let everybody kind of hold on to you, and we're going to try to lift you up. So all six of us, we like, you know, he leans back, and like you hear a few groans and what have you. And he leans into everyone's arms, and then, you know, someone's got, like, got him under the knees, someone's got his ass, someone's got, you know, the small of his back, someone's got his shoulders, and basically all six of us try to lift him, and he was one heavy son of a bitch. So anyway, he says, all right, that's the first part of the exercise. Second part of the exercise is everybody, one at a time, breathe, put your hand out, palms down and the next person in the circle put your hand down palm down over top of the other person's hand and keep doing that but leave some space between the hands then on the count of three with one finger pick the spot that you picked before and put it underneath the owner and around and and lift them and I swear to God, all six of us, with one finger each, held the guy suspended for about a good 45 seconds to a minute. And then we set him down. Not a single groan, not a single moan, not a single issue. And absolutely mind-blowing, especially for seven drunks. But... The point is that I want to get across here is that a lot of the time things seem limiting and expectations. I mean, this goes all the way back to Yoda, really. Size doesn't matter. You know, there's, there's only do or do not. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to even try to do an impersonation right now. But point is, is that you know, um, from 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 the outside looking in, things can look pretty tedious. Things can look pretty difficult. But you know, with uh, a little bit of solidarity and some clear, clear, clear focus, nothing is impossible.
and I wanted to leave you guys with that anecdote. Just came, just popped into my head, so I just wanted to uh, do that for you. Anyway, guys, peace out, and uh, take care of each other. All right. <laughs>